We are coming to you from the heart of the Boerland in the Western Cape, where 50 years ago tomorrow, on the 29th of September, an earthquake hit just outside of Tilburg. South Africa has never seen anything like it before or since. Uh, it measured 6.3 on the Richter scale and 11 people lost their lives. One of the people who was there that night is Annalene Fredericks, who was a girl of 18 when that horrific incident happened. Annalene, you were there 50 years ago. What happened that night? What do you remember? I remembered almost everything um, to us and I think to all of us here in Tauvach, it was very, very scary. We all were very scared, frightened, because we never experienced an earthquake. That was, we heard about it, but that was the first one that we experienced. It happened on a Monday evening, four minutes past ten, but that day it was a beautiful sunny day. You won't say tonight four minutes past ten, something is going to hit us. Um, I was sweeping our yard and all of a sudden there was this big noise and I said to myself, ah, maybe this is the people busy shooting Nivercroft pass with the dynamite because they were busy with it, with the pass at that time. We let it go and that evening my sister used to play netball. I was just a member. I went with her to the netball meeting and we had to there was a big bush, eucalyptus trees, that divided the two townships from each other. We used to live in Yadmaka, and the meeting was in Newtown. So, during the day, we go through the bush, but in the evening, we go with the road. And it happened on our way home after the meeting. All of a sudden, there was this large roar and rumble, like thunder, and we stopped in our tracks asking each other, what was that now? What is happening here now? And we cling each other while we stand there. And the trees shook out of the ground with roots and all the electricity wires. You know, in those days there were no electricity, but there were electricity poles with wires and that. And the wires broke down and there were sparks all over. We duck and dive to get out of the way of the sparks. And then uh, while we were standing there, I looked down the road and it was gravel roads in those days. And I could see the road rolling like thunder, I mean, like waves towards us. And when it went underneath past us, me and my sister, we wobbled like that. And the Wittenberg Mountain, that was on fire because of the rolling stones and it hit each other and made sparks. And that was the time that we thought this is now the end of the world. And we are no, full of sins and all of that. And I said, please, Lord, forgive our sins because I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. And um, we stand there praying. But also, you know, what was very scary for us was outside. The people who were in the houses, it were those attached houses and uh, the, uh, do, uh, the houses only had one door. And the people who wanted to get outside the shouts and the screams of those people, that was very scary to us who were outside. It lasts for about 30 seconds, but that 30 seconds felt as if it's never, never going to stop. And when it eventually stopped, we started running. We had to take two corners to get to our house. When we get to the first corner, then only we realized this was an earthquake because the houses, some of the houses were very, very old houses made out of clay. And um, when we saw the houses, it was totally, totally damaged down to the ground. And we just gave it a look and we started running to our house. And when we got to our house, our parents were outside already. They almost forgot my sister's baby. She had a grown-up little daughter. My father went back inside to go and get her. And you could see through our walls the way they pulled away the corners from each other, right through it. The police was very quick. They came and they said, people under no circumstances must you go back into into your houses because you never know what's going to happen next
but we still went inside, fetch uh, blankets and mattresses because we had to sleep outside that night. A lot of people made fires, the houses sleep, sleep. We, the whole night, the three was one after each other, one after each other. We were really, we were so, so scared. But um, the night went by and the next morning, the army was very quick. They brought each of us a tent and they put the tents up everywhere where there was an open space. Rugby fields, on the um, school grounds, everywhere. We went into the tents. While we were in the tents, around about two months, they come and tell us that we must now get our furniture, the rest of our furniture, out of the tents because the houses are going to be demolished. What do we do now? You can't accommodate all your furniture in a tent. And believe me, I can't tell you, up until today, where all the people got hold of corrugated um, roof, but we all got corrugated roof and we put us a shack either in front or at the back of the tent. Now we set out inside. That same year in October, we got rain, as if rain is going to go out of fashion and everything happens in the evening. But it rained. Most, a lot of the tents came down from all the rain and people couldn't do a thing. They had to lay there with all the rain on top of them and the next morning the men went everywhere where they can help, rolled up the tent flaps to help the people. People carry the furniture outside. Thank God it was beautiful sunny days. We could get the inside of the tent nice and dry. Everything that got wet, we got that dry. And um, yes, after that, we're back inside the tent again. We stayed in the tent for almost just a little over a year while they were busy building new houses for us. And then they moved us to Newtown where we are now. And it is no longer called Newtown, it is now Witzenbel Tilbach. But there is one thing that I can say that came out of the earthquake. It was a very, very bad thing, but something good came out of it. A lot of people didn't know there's a place called Tilbach. And the earthquake actually put us on the map. Now we got get people from all over the world to come and visit Tilbach. And they love it here. And I'm here, and Tilbach is the best place ever. Just briefly tell us, 50 years later, yeah. how, how do you feel about Tilbach? Do you still get flashbacks, or are you at peace with what happened? Um, really, I remember it as if it was yesterday, but I am fine with it. I made peace with it. And during that time, the community grew much, much closer towards each other, we are that day, we are wherever we can. Oh yes, and the army brought us, um, each of us, a food parcel also. The people brought clothes, water, blankets, and that's all. Thank you very much. Annalene Fredericks, amazing story. That was Annalene Fredericks. She's a survivor of that earthquake. You heard the horrific tale she told. The road came rolling towards them like waves. It must have been unexplainable and it must have been extremely, extremely careful, um, scary for people who was there. Um, we know from other accounts that people have told us they felt it as far as Strand in Cape Town, which is around 150 to 200 kilometers from where we are now. Of course, other towns in the area as well were affected by it. Sirius as well was affected by it. it. It was a major thing. And like I said, nothing like it before or since. And this weekend, uh, Tilbach remembers. We're coming out of that amazing story to show you live footage coming in.